Hi Dan. <coughs> Hi. <coughs> Hi Dan, thanks for the info. You know what? And I just learned something today myself, which I did not realize. Um, I was thinking, okay, well that should have worked. However, I made an adjustment in the template and I've loaded the Ajax, sorry the, sorry, the jQuery, and I'm loading Font Awesome. I'm actually now loading that right from uh, what's called a content delivery network. Okay, so what that does is it loads the jQuery script from an external site. Okay, uh, ajax.googleapis.com. Now, the server where this script is loaded from, they're all over the place. And here's how a CDN or a content delivery network works. Let's say your website is hosted in Los Angeles and somebody visiting your site is in New York. Um, and of course I'm using US references. Let's try Vancouver and uh, Toronto for fun. Okay. Um, so somebody in Toronto, they go to your website and this script right here, it's going to load from the closest server that actually has that script. So instead of waiting for the transit time from Toronto to Vancouver and back, there may actually be a server located in Toronto or New York or a city that's closer or a server that's closer and it's going to load it from the closest possible server. So that script will load up faster from a content delivery network than from actually having it on your local website. We're talking just milliseconds here, but hey, everything counts. Unfortunately, this script right here, which I did not realize, if you're using something that's coming from a content delivery network, it blows up for IE8. Oh, yay. So the script that we use for IE8, it doesn't like these loading from an external source. So I learned something new, and my apologies. But thanks for hanging in there. So what we're going to do is this. Let's, um, uh, what I suggest, font awesome, it doesn't matter. IE8 doesn't even know what it is. So that's not the thing. But the jQuery is the one with the menu. That's the key. So here's what I, I'm going to suggest you do fire up a web browser okay and just open up a new tab in your web browser like so and here's what I'm going to ask that you do take this link right here this HTTP Ajax Google did it all the way over to the jQuery min and use Firefox for an example if you can pop it in no oh, I guess I gotta copy it first right so copy this link go to your browser paste it in there and just hit the enter key and it's going to pull up all this stuff. This is actually the actual JS script that it's that you need to load and we're going to load it locally instead of from the content delivery network which is right here. So all you do is go file, save page as and it's going to give you some you know jQuery.min, save it to your desktop or wherever you want for now and what we're going to do is go into Dreamweaver and we're going to take this jQuery min script, we're just going to drag it right over and drop it into our our root folder right here. Okay, and then we're going to open up our template DWT like so. And we're going to uh, get rid of all this uh, HTTP all the way to the 172 and replace all of that with a dot dot. Just like we have right here, we have the, the dot dot site. Just replace that with a dot dot jQuery min like so. So it basically says it's looking up out of the templates folder into this file right here. And let's just save and update our pages. It should run through, take about two seconds to go through all the pages, in that case 78 pages it just went through. Let's just open up another page to make sure that it uh, it took. Uh, see if I missed anything or think I missed anything. Oh, there it is right there, jQuery.min. Okay, after you've done that, then you can actually take this file and you could if you wanted to move it into the JavaScript folder. So you can just sort of scroll it up here. Um, you want to update? Yep. Do, 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 do. And then it should go through and update all your pages. All right. Oh, in this case, it bloated because it's a script file. So you may need just to uh, manually uh, code that in there. So instead of that, you just go and copy the site JavaScript and all that slashy stuff like so. And then hit save to update. Update like that. And then it'll run through and we're good. All right. So now our sitemap page would have it loading from site JavaScript or sorry site JavaScript J or site JavaScript jQuery min and that's what we need. So that there now because it's loading from a local server and not somewhere else the respond min uh, should work. And that's what the problem was is jQuery wasn't being loaded into the page and the menu is not able to function without it so it's just collapsing down to its uh, uh, root format.